Junior Jock Jam. Junior Jock Carry Down. We're here today at the studio where the newest batch of Junior Jocks are actually having their first ever workshop. <laughs> yes, our very own Junior Jock Program graduate, DJ Jessica Mendoza of Fame and Glory Pop Stop, is spending her last few days in Manila with us sharing her advice, her tips, and uh, experience on news reporting. Yes. Yeah. And Judy Jock Debbie actually has an interview later on with her regarding not only the news reporting, but also, of course, her experiences here as a Judy Jock at this station. So, so hopefully she gives us some of her trade secrets so we can be as good as she is one day. Let's go to Debbie. Hi, my name is Junior Jack Debbie, and here we have today DJ Jessica Mendoza, and she's going to tell us a bit about today's workshop. You did a news reporting workshop mm -hmm. earlier with the Junior Jack. Yeah. Um, can you give us a short rundown of what happened today? Okay, um, I don't want to like, uh, this is what I told them to, uh, to start the workshop was I didn't want to mislead anybody by saying news, we're not talking ANC headlines or TV patrol, we're talking about really light, easy to understand, the basic stuff that uh, we want our junior jocks to sort of use, sort of like as a, a springboard into whatever it is that they find uh, uh, interesting to talk about um, when they become full-fledged broadcasters. It was just a... Uh, like sort of a, a course, a short, short, short <laughs> course on what to do and not to do when it comes to reporting news. We started out with how to look for the kinds of stories that we want them to do here on The Magic. It's about, you know, the things that they're interested in and the things that the audience should be interested in. Then we talked about um, teasing the news or setting it up. It's like headlines for, for radio, you know, you want to get something to reel in your audience. You want to put together sort of a two-sentence um, start to whatever it is you're going to talk about. And then we closed it off with actually delivering the news. And we did a couple of short exercises to help them sort of get an idea of how it really is to be on air and to talk about these things. So how was your experience as a junior job? When I was a junior job, we had more of a chance to really bond as a, as a batch. Uh -huh. um, that helped us sort of um, forge a sense of like, okay, we're all in this together yeah. as we jump into this whole new world of radio or whatever. Um, we didn't have such intensive workshops like this, if I, if I recall correctly. We didn't really have anybody come out and talk to us about like, really news writing or whatever, or our news reporting. We did basically board work first, and when we got that down, that's when they basically put us on air. Um, I personally got a lot of um, hands-on training because I, I was fortunate enough to be paired up with CJ for about a month, so that, that's a lot of exposure and experience um, for a junior job. But this, I think, the, the, the path in organizing these mm -hmm. workshops are actually going to be really helpful. It, it gives everybody more of a, like a, 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 a balanced yeah, yeah. experience to start from instead of just getting one or two who get more airtime than the other. How did everything that you've learned from the program apply to what you do today? The program itself um, was actually, because it was such a good foundation, I, I personally got <laughs> to meet like DJs that I'd been listening to. I mean, when I first met Joey, I thought I was going to faint. He was my three to six, basically, for the longest time. And Mo, Twister as well, Slick Rick, he yeah. was my morning show. Him and King DJ Logan, they were my morning show. And to get to meet them was already like, wow, this is amazing. You know, this is something that I'm really interested in. And first of all, it helped me figure out what, you know, what kind of uh, DJ I became, what kind of, what am I interested in? And at the same time, the training. Um, it's confidence, really, more than anything else, more than the technicality yeah. of how to use the board or what should I and shouldn't I say on air. It's about the confidence that you build. Despite with what it sometimes seems when you're listening to magic, yeah. um, the jocks are very positive people and they're very encouraging. And um, it helps you, it, confidence is where it all starts. I mean, you can't do any of this if you don't have the confidence to, to if you don't believe that you can. So I think that's what I learned the most. It just sort of grew um, as time passed and as I tried to do different things with my career. What is one of the most memorable piece of advice that you've gotten from all of your idols or your good friends? So advice though. Uh, well, I always considered Boom to be one of my mentors. He was there for me from the start of my radio career, when I started with the UAP, even when I left the UAP to go to the PBA, he was there to give me advice. And it's always uh, he gives so much advice, I should have written a book. Um, but he always says um, to, to learn to do things, um, not to impress anybody. You know, it's not about um, doing better than somebody else. Um, always try to improve your work because you want to improve your work. Um, you don't want to do it for any other reason than that. 
It's not to gain respect. It's not to gain fame or fortune or whatever. When you want to make yourself better, you should do it because you want to make yourself better. And everything else will just follow. You know, it's to me that was something that I really took to heart when I, you know, when I started to branch out on different things because um, it challenged me a lot. A lot of people start out, oh, you know, I want to go on air. It's so cool, and that's awesome because it is. But it's really important to have your main motivating factor to be you and not anybody else. I want to be better than. It shouldn't be like that. That's what he always taught me. You should always try to be better than you before you try to be better than anybody else. And finally, what is advice of your own no. that you could share <laughs> with the junior jocks and other aspiring uh, DJs as well? I guess just um, two things. Uh, don't be afraid um, because it's just it's a lot of things. You know, it's sometimes overwhelming to be part of something so huge. Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um, but at the same time, be humble. Uh, that I think is something that they tried to, like the older, the veteran jocks of Magic and all the people I've worked with have valued about, uh, with new recruits the most is that if they're humble enough to make those mistakes and admit that they made them and then to learn from them and not to think that you're better just because you're younger or fresher or because you're being given this opportunity at this moment. It's really important to stay grounded. I mean, we all have our moments when we're kind of forgetting that. but. It's really important, and it's something that will make um, the people you work with and your bosses and everybody respect you all the more. I think it's really important. So, yeah, those are so there you have it, guys. There is a historical moment made oh my right God. here. Historical. Yes, absolutely. Make me feel so old. This is going to go into <laughs> the Junior Jocks archive. Thank you so much, Thank Jess, you, for guys. your time. And best of luck to all your future endeavors. Thank you. And I just want to wish uh, the Junior Jocks of this batch and all the future batches and even the past batches the best of luck. Do awesome, because you guys are. So, later. <laughs>